Yo, what's up, fight fans? AJ here. Y'all know what I do on my channel, Talk Boxing. And today, no different. Now, the question in the boxing community, man, the question that's really polarizing people is, is Floyd Mayweather going to leave after the Andre Berto fight? Being that it's his last fight with the Showtime contract, he did his six fights. This is the sixth fight. He gave us Canelo. He gave us Manny Pacquiao after we never thought that fight was going to happen. And a lot of people have been talking shit about the fact that he's fighting Andre Berto. And Andre Berto is a world champion. Two-time world champion. Done fought a lot of guys. Then gave us a lot of entertaining fights. Fights of the year. Him and um, Victor Ortiz and this is the fight, in my opinion, this is how, you know, former champions and champions are supposed to go out. They ain't supposed to go out on no high horse. But being that it's Floyd Mayweather, and being that he talks all the shit, and being that he lives a lifestyle that a lot of people resent him for, a lot of ignorant shit he does, but that's his money. A lot of people want to see him go out with a bang or go out with an actual, in an actual fight that... He has potential to lose it. If it is, in fact, that he's going to, you know, leave the sport. In my opinion, Floyd is going to mop the floor with Andre Berto. Andre Berto has too many flaws in his whole arsenal that even Virgil, even Virgil can't fix. And Virgil's one of the best trainers. I feel like Virgil sticks to the fundamentals Virgil makes a fighter train in ways that he's never trained before and I commend Virgil for that because we've seen what he's done with Andre Ward we've seen how he took it from the bottom to the top and Andre Ward has so few flaws in his game that you really have to nitpick to see and Virgil has helped Andre Bertel tremendously Virgil has helped Amir Khan although Amir Khan Straight away from the game plan in his last fight, he was kind of bamboozled by Chris Algieri. But with that being said, Virgil Hunter can't even fix an Andre Berto. Andre Berto is a lot of flash, but the substance that he's based off isn't really good. The defense isn't superb. Andre Berto's been in wars. Floyd Mayweather's too, way too precise and way too tactical. For Andre Berto to even give him a real run for his money. When I was watching that Robert Guerrero fight with Floyd, I remember that night when I was chilling with my pops right here in this room, watching Floyd fight Robert Guerrero live. Floyd made Robert Guerrero look slow, made Robert Guerrero look terrible in the ring. And and he said after that fight, I believe, after that flight, Floyd said he had an injury. He wasn't feeling too good. He had to use one of his one of his arms more than the other. Don't quote me on this shit because it was back in the day. I ain't see that fight in a minute. But with that being said, Floyd completely outclassed Robert Guerrero. Robert Guerrero beat He beat Andre Berto, but not to even do that, do that comparison. One guy beat the other, this guy gonna beat that. But there's levels to this, and Floyd Mayweather is obviously levels above Andre Berto. He shouldn't be in the ring with Andre Berto. He should have gave a Keith Thurman an opportunity. He should have gave one of these younger guys an opportunity. But I understand he's leaving the game, like he said. Now, let's get into him leaving the game. Now, fighters like Floyd Mayweather, athletes like Floyd Mayweather, Athletes on the top of the top. Guys that done did it all. Won championships. Done defied odds. Broke records. They have a tendency to stick around a little bit too long. And now, being with Floyd Mayweather, being that he's the guy that he is, the arrogant, the flashy, the man that feeds thousands, all those people in the motherfucking Floyd Mayweather gym, man. And that Mayweather gym, he feeding them. You can see it in their face. You can see it when you watching the 24, I mean the all-access. I'm about to say 24-7. The all-access. 
all these people, whether they be the fighters, whether it be the people that just come to hang around, the children, that's Floyd's pocket. That's talking for all of these people. He's buying fighters cars. He's he's a very generous guy, man. And that brings a lot of pressure to the game. Because he can't just leave. Where are these people going to go? Where is he going to go? The entourage is not going to... It's going to taper down some. But it's still going to be an entourage around. Floyd liked them women. He liked the bitches. Excuse my language. Where they going? So after the fights is all done, after the wrap up of Saturday night, Sunday night, ain't going to be 10 bitches hanging around? Ain't going to be 10 hairs Hairdressers that gotta get paid, chefs gonna go away, all of his homies, are they really gonna go away? The fight is gonna be there. So wh who's really gonna stop touching Floyd's money? The spending habits are gonna be there. Come on. The cars, the insurance on the motherfucking five million dollar cars is still gonna be there. The house, the mortgage. Everything. God damn, I don't like to count people money, but it's going to be hard for Floyd to turn down a $250 million check, a $300 million check, a HBO Showtime bidding war. He going to... You just got to be a businessman to understand this, man. Floyd is in high demand. That 50th fight is going to be in high demand. Especially if he goes up 1-6. If he goes up, you know, that pressure, that Gennady Golovkin pressure. Is he really that great? Can he beat the monster? The Miguel Cotto pressure. If he still got the WBC. Can an older Floyd capture the WBC? Can he do something he's never done? Become a champion and, and what? Five division, six divisions. These are the questions, man. These are the questions that that you know a lot of people are scared to answer because a lot of people, you know, they make these videos trying to get that Floyd Mayweather love, and they, they either they bashing Floyd or 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 um either they bashing him or they bigging him up too much. Either you a flow more pack tall, whatever it is. And me, I'm just going to sit here and keep it real. Floyd is not leaving. That little man has too much pressure on his back. He can't lead a game. And that's going to be his downfall because I remember Floyd when motherfuckers really wasn't touching Floyd. When you were not touching Floyd. When Floyd would come into a ring and ain't no big shots was being landed on him. Maybe one or two, but... It wasn't happening the way I'm looking at it. He's looking slower. And it all comes with age, man. Everybody don't got that discipline. And now that we're getting to see him in his true in his true fashion, we get to see that he's eating the cheeseburgers, like he said. He's hanging out with chicks. And that's going to be his downfall, man. Floyd can't keep doing this shit. Maybe he come back next May. He fights a cold O or he fights a Gennady Golovkin. He beats a Gennady Golovkin. He breaks the record. He gets another 300 million. But the greed is what keeps these fighters in the game. And I don't believe Floyd when I when I hear him talking about, you know, he's well off. No, you're not well off. You're a fighter. You're a businessman. But the people that sign them checks are well off, are wealthy for real. You a rich man with terrible habits. Terrible habits. And I don't like counting that man money, but he's a rich man with terrible habits. And the best of them have lost it all. And you keep motherfuckers around that you got to feed. There's no money that doesn't start to do and do down. And it is what it is, man. In my opinion, Floyd is going to be back. It may not be next May, maybe next September. But he's going to be back. And it may be Gennady. It may be Kodo. But me personally, 
Hmm. The money is going to be too much for Floyd, man. Floyd, you know, I don't want to see him lose because I grew up off Floyd. I've been able to see him in his total dominance of him beating these guys, these world champions, and doing what he has to do. But at the end of the day, no one is unbeatable. No defense is unpenetrable. And the best of them are lost. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Floyd likes to talk shit about other fighters. And I don't think he's smarter than them. Like he thinks he is. But, with that being said, man. Floyd Mayweather. I have Floyd Mayweather. Matter of fact, I'm going to do a breakdown video prediction. Full prediction video. But this is just me talking about the whole scenario. Birdo, Floyd leaving the game. You know. Y'all know what I do. I talk about. I can sit here and talk to y'all all all day, but realistically, my computer ain't got that. It don't got that those megabytes or those gigabytes and whatever you want to call it to keep it going for that long. Cause it take probably like an hour of video if I was trying to upload just on YouTube. But we're gonna make some advances. We're gonna get a better computer. We're gonna keep talking boxing and make sure to like this video if you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And it's AJ Knows Boxing, the realest boxing channel out there. No bias, no bullshit, real talk, at its finest, and I'm out. One.